haven't made an actual video like of me just talking in a long time um so i i just kind of wanted to recount to you probably the most traumatic experience i have ever had in my life which happened to me a couple days ago um okay so it was my my dad's fiance's daughter to put that in simpler terms she's gonna be my stepsister in a month it's her 13th birthday last saturday and um we to celebrate we went up to massachusetts for the day we went to a, a butterfly conservatory and first we went to the yankee candle store like the giant one they have up there um and then we went to a butterfly conservatory and then we went and got dinner at this polynesian place called um the hookie lao and <laughs> it was interesting um <clears throat> very interesting um and they have this show that they do i guess like i don't know if it's on like a nightly basis or what um <clears throat> and they like kind of give you a a tour of the uh, polynesian islands and whatever and they have like you know like hula dancers and whatever that do the traditional dances from the islands and stuff and there's music and crap um so they do that and then um there's like this segment where they ask people to come up on stage and like a bunch of people came up and let me just let me just tell you that there were probably over 200 people in this restaurant eating like it's a big place so right um, so a bunch of people go up on stage, like adults and kids, and there's probably like some, some like, I don't know, 30 people up on stage, maybe more, because kids are tiny and they just kind of cram themselves in there. So, um, my dad goes up, and I'm just like, okay, he, um, alright dad, you go make an ass out of yourself. You, yeah. So he's, he, they're, they're, uh, I don't even know, what were they playing? It was some Michael Jackson song, and they were, everybody was like, dancing to it and my my dad was dancing to it and it was just really embarrassing um but that's not the embarrassing part no it gets it gets better okay so <clears throat> eventually the, the guy that's like the the host is like he he tells all the kids to go sit down and to just the adults stay on stage right so i i go back to um i look away for a second to go to go talk to abby she's she's my stepsister and uh when i look back up um, my dad's not on stage, and I'm just like, where did he go? So I asked Felice, and that's his fiance. I'm like, do you know where my dad went? And she's just like, I thought he was on stage, or maybe he went to the bathroom or something. And I'm just like, okay, maybe he went to the bathroom. Um, so <laughs> and then he doesn't come back, and I'm just, I'm, at this point, I'm getting a little bit nervous because, like, where did he go? So then, <laughs> then after a while, the host guy comes back out. And he starts making this, this, this big announcement and the lights are going off and like, you know, there's like a drum roll or whatever and he's just like, and now the moment you've all been waiting for, um, here for one night only. And then at this point I'm just like, oh fuck, oh fuck. And he's just like, the big kahuna. And my fucking, my fucking father comes out on stage in a lay and a hula skirt, okay, and starts shaking his ass. And dancing with a hula dancer, all right. I wanted, I wanted to die. If this was, if this restaurant was not on a ground floor, or had you know more than two flights, two levels, I would go upstairs and jump out the window. Because just, just, just why, 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 Dad, why? Like. <laughs> Why? Like, you cannot dance. You, you are the whitest, you are the whitest human being in existence. You, you are like six feet of awkward. Awkward and really white and unable to dance. So he's, he's trying to like shake his ass and move his hips and shit in this, in this hula skirt and lay and, and like, this hula dancer's all up on him. And, I mean, I don't know how police would feel about this because, I mean, you know, he was getting pretty, you know, you know, 
yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I, I, I wasn't really paying attention that much because I was, I was kind of too busy, you know, um, drowning in public humiliation. Um, yeah. Needless to say, I was, um, not very happy with him when he came and sat back down. Because, uh, that image is now forever seared into my brain. And I will probably never forget the image of my father in a hula skirt. Being all up on some hula lady at the hooky wow. Yeah. I just wanted to share that with y'all because it was traumatizing. And I am actually legitimately scared of what he's going to do if I ever get married at my wedding. He's probably, I don't, I don't even know, he, he's probably gonna like streak at my wedding because it's my father and he just likes to embarrass the crap out of me. So yeah, this video is over six minutes long and if you sat through me talking for this whole six minutes then I commend you because either you really like me or I am actually interesting and I'm pretty sure it's not the last one because I'm not interesting at all. So thanks for liking me. Yeah. So. Toodles.